are you feeling? To be honest, mate, I'm terrified. All you have to remember is to say not guilty. And what about if he goes to trial and the judge sends me down? Hey, one day at a time, yeah? I'm not even convinced it's going to come to that. You do both actually know I stole the cash. If Maxine wasn't sick, would you have taken the money? Of course not. Right, listen, you need to cut this prison talk, OK? Because this place would fall apart without you. And I would as well. Come here. Thanks, mate. Mm. Knowing you used to have got my back, it means a lot. Right, let's get ready. What's in the bag? Oh, Anita. I didn't exactly make it home last night. Who knew she was such a minx? Excuse me? It's nothing sordid, unfortunately. Anyone I know? Well, a lady never tells. <laughs> but what I will say is that it's the second time something's almost happened between me and this guy. You know, when I'm doing my act, there's like this definite heat between us. But then afterwards, it's not just the magic on stage that's gone because he gets all distant and weird. It sounds to me like this guy fancies Anita, not you. Do you really think that's what it is? Mitchell, what can I get for you? Uh, a bottle of still water, please, bro. Coming up. I thought you were going to work. I went to the gym. I thought I told you not to say anything. Look, Brody wanted to know where I was last night. He filled in the blanks. Yeah, that's still too much. Look, Mitchell, I, I promise I won't breathe a word to anyone. Here you go. Scott filling you in on his latest conquest. Uh, no. Brody, come on, you know I never blab. Well, I'll get it out of you later. It always cracks in the end. <laughs> Works. Going for some paperwork before my shift starts. Did I see Scott's act? Um, yeah, it was it was okay. Didn't stick around though. Just wanted to have an early night. How was your How was your test? Um, Cleo, can I uh, can I can I call you back? Okay, love love you. Bye. I've only just realised that I picked up the wrong one, too. <laughs> um, listen, Scott, about last night, um, we're friends, you know, and I like you, but that's all we'll ever be, OK? So don't go reading anything else into this, because nothing could ever happen between us, OK? Words right out my mouth. <laughs> um, I better get back to work. Mitchell, what's a factitious disorder? Why are you asking that? Well, there's a file in your bag about Maxine. Scott, that file is confidential. Yeah, I, I know that, but I, I thought she had a spinal tumor. We cannot have this conversation. Well. Maxine is married to me brother, and that file reads like she's not ill at all. Is that true? Seriously, Scott, if we talk about this, I could be sued for malpractice. Yeah, and Damon could end up behind bars. Look, Mitchell, I know she's your patient, OK? But at least tell me what Munchausen's is. Please. There you go, Max. Good luck, mate. Thanks. Just nervous in my whole life. Stop the cab! Max, please tell me what I'm hearing is a mistake. What mistake? Ah, uh, so close. This is a letter to Maxine's GP, saying that all of this has been an act. Turns out I'm not the only one leading a double life, isn't that right, Max? Is that for real? Please don't read that. You're not really dying. 